Okay, this is a no spoiler review of the film The Snowman, which is a British thriller starring Michael Fassbender and Rebecca Ferguson, who both play detectives trying to track down a killer. So let me start off by saying that this movie was impressively boring. The trailer sure as hell didn't look as boring as the movie was, <laughs> but like 25% of it wasn't even in the movie, which may explain my first dislike. Number one, this shit was so choppy. The scenes, they were just all over the place. It didn't flow well at all. It was like little bits and pieces were just thrown at you to figure out how and if they all fit together. And not in a, oh, this is mysterious kind of way, but more like a, who the fuck edited this kind of way. And I'm not saying it was difficult to put together, but shit was just happening, you know? Like, it was no transitioning, um, and too many scenes just didn't fit. There were unnecessary characters. It was frustrating to watch. Um, my next dislike, number two, it was so unnecessarily long and it does look like some decent looking scenes were cut out by, you know, looking at the trailer. So how all those horrible scenes got the green light, I don't know. At some point I was just like, please somebody just find the killer, please, so I can go home. Um, three, everything about this was underwhelming. The whole damn movie was just like a overproduced episode of any crime TV show, Law and Order, whatever. I, I'd rather watch... Law and Order, I promise you, it would be more interesting than this movie. Number four, Fassbender's character, Harry Hole. This guy was a whole ass mess. Um, from the very beginning, he was sleeping outside. I thought he was homeless. Turns out he's just a drunk. But that wasn't the problem. The problem is you don't get any insight into his character, which is weird because he has this really interesting way he goes about life. And the only thing you ever really get is that he drinks. So, I mean, I guess most of his actions can be attributed to that, but I was expecting a little more. The setup was there. It was just a missed opportunity. Number five, um, the detectives didn't do much besides make endless poor decisions and keep putting themselves in unnecessary danger. Six, um, the villain was cliche and weak. Um, the climax was predictable and quite frankly, very amateurish. And my last dislike is um, Val Kilmer was in this looking like the Godfather for some reason with some puffy jaws. Um, and every time he talked, it looked like he was dubbed. It was just strange and random. And I don't care enough to find out if he was really dubbed or why. Um, I really believe he was. What the fuck? I don't know. Um, there's one like, though. Uh, visually, the scenery was beautiful, beautifully shot. It was like a snow globe. <laughs> um, um, it, it was just really, really pretty. And I, I really enjoyed um, watching the scenery. So wrapping up here. Um, I just wanted this movie to be over. Very early on, I realized it just wasn't a good movie. In the end, there's no payoff. Um, this was just bad. I'm not going to recommend watching this. Not now, not ever, not Redbox, not Netflix, not cable. Um, I have to rate it a 2 out of 10. Um, the story itself had potential, but the execution was terrible. Uh, follow me, MovieBuffChick1, on Twitter at like, subscribe, hit me up.